Kennedy first announced that we were going to put a man on the moon by the end of the decade of the 60s, I was uh, I was amazed because uh, we just had so much to learn before we could really uh, take that gigantic step. We'd never even been into Earth orbit at that time, just simply one quick up and down suborbital flight by Alan Shepard. And the idea that we could uh, get into orbit, uh, test all the ideas and all the equipment, learn how to operate in Earth orbit, and then set sail all the way to the moon and do it all within the framework of the decade, that seemed like a tall order. I flew on Gemini 10 with John Young back in 1966. Gemini was a vital link between Mercury and Apollo. To be successful in our landings on the moon scheme, we had to be able to do a rendezvous, and we didn't know how to do rendezvous. Uh, so Gemini's primary uh, job was to work out all the technical details to bring two spacecraft together in Earth orbit. Then, what would happen to the people on board? We didn't know... Uh, for a, uh, say, an eight-day round trip to the moon, we didn't know what the effects of uh, zero gravity of weightlessness would be. When you got to the moon, you had to go outside, obviously, and walk on the surface, and no one had ever exited a spacecraft before. So the spacewalks of Project Gemini were needed to prove that the space suits, the equipment, everything would be okay on the surface of the moon. When I was first assigned to the crew of Apollo 11, we really weren't sure what we were going to do. We thought that that would be the first flight to land on the moon, but we were far from certain of that. I just thought there were so many unknowns that I would have given us about a 50-50 chance of, uh, of being the first flight to, to land and return someone safely. Well, I think the main thing about flying in space that has stuck in my memory is the, um, the idea of getting away from the Earth at a very great distance, quarter of a million miles, whatever, and then looking back and seeing uh, a tiny little fragile blue and white globe. And, uh, and it makes you think about our earthly problems with a slightly different perspective. The universe is turning out to be such an extraordinarily complex, odd, unusual, different sort of a place. Uh, it was one of the early astronomers, I, I believe Willis Shapley, who said, uh, the universe is, is not only more complex than we know, it's more complex than we can know. There's so many mysteries out there that uh, it's going to act as a magnet. We're just going to suck people out into space because people have this curiosity. They want to know about the universe. They want to know more about how it works, how it affects uh, their lives. Um, I think 50 years from now, Mars, of course, will be the next outpost. I think we'll have people uh, living on Mars 50 years from now. What they'll be looking forward to, uh, I have no idea, but I'm sure it'll be uh, fascinating.